What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to The Nerdy Narrative, a Heinz 57 channel all about reading. I call it a Heinz 57 channel because I read a variety of everything. You literally never know what genres I'm gonna be talking about when you click on one of my videos. With today being the 1st of September, that means it's time for me to share with you my selections for my September TBR. Let's start with The Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison, I have seen covered on the Codex Cantina's channel. I will put their Toni Morrison playlist in the description box down below. When I watched their most recent video about a story that they covered by her, I said, you know what? It's time. It is time that I get this author on my TBR and start working through her works. So I began looking at the things that she's written, the synopsis for them, and it was between Song of Solomon and I think three others as to where I wanted to start. It was a toss up. I made a decision and that is how I got Song of Solomon. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this and getting started on Toni Morrison's writing. And next up on the old September TBR is going to be Dark Hilarity by Joseph Sale. This is a self-published book that is said to be my best friend's exorcism meets the never-ending story. I don't know about you guys, but just hearing that really roused my curiosity. Now what's super funny is I spun the wheel of names to see which of my patrons was going to get to choose a book for me to read in September. It landed on Victoria from A Musical Bookworm and she literally last night was like, hey, have you ever read The Never Ending Story? I said, no, I haven't. It is on my TBR ever since Andrew from Get Right On In covered it. I didn't know it was a book. So she said, okay, well, that's the one I picked. So I'm super excited. I have a copy on its way. I got a really cool edition of it. It's a fan made copy. I absolutely cannot wait to get that in my hands and read it this month. I think it is so fitting, so funny that it was chosen for me by one of my patrons to read in the same month as a self-published book that it's being compared to. Those are the only books that I'm gonna be reading just me by myself. The rest are all read-alongs and buddy reads. So I will be continuing The Count of Monte Cristo. It is not too late to join. You can definitely catch up. So I will have their announcement videos linked below if you would like to check that out and join the Discord where we are reading this together. My next highly anticipated read is another self-published book and that is Shade by Chad Nicholas. I was absolutely thrilled to get this arc. Chad wrote Nightmare, which I read and reviewed last year. I absolutely loved Nightmare. And shortly after I read Nightmare, of course I asked him, was he working on anything else? And he told me he was working on a crime novel. And I have been eagerly anticipating that release ever since. And when he sent me this copy, y'all, I about died. I cannot wait to read this. And I am even more excited because I'm gonna read it with my good friend, Sharon Dwyer. Y'all, I'm so eager. I'm so eager to see what he is gonna do with this one because I just absolutely love his writing style. I also love the attention to detail that he gives to all of his books. He always has just amazing covers. He also has really awesome chapter headers. And then his pages just have all kinds of fun decorations on them. I cannot wait, just cannot wait to read this book. Sadly, I will be reading The Last of the Dark Tower books. The Wind Through the Keyhole is technically book 4.5, but it was written after the series. My friend Penny read it after Wizard and Glass and I'm reading it after the series and we're going to talk about it and see if we agree on it being book 4.5 or should it be read after the series. Without knowing what it's about, I think I am going to be glad that I read it after the series. And I can't tell you why, because if you haven't read The Dark Tower, it would 100% be a spoiler. But I have a feeling I'm going to be glad that I saved it for last. This, the next one is one I will 100% be starting on September 1st, and that is going to be The Arm of the Sphinx, book two in the Books of Babel series by Josiah Bancroft. Simlin Ascends, the first book, was a hit. I cannot wait to read more. I am so excited to continue journeying up this tower. I love these covers. These covers are everything. They are just absolutely gorgeous, especially now that I understand what's going on in them. 
So I am so excited to continue this journey. This has been one of the best fantasy series and that it is so unique. It's so full of surprises and turns and just where and just the directions that it takes. I absolutely cannot wait to continue reading this series. My Discord is reading the series together, so if you have read Sinlin of Sands and you want to pick up book two with us, there is a link in the description box down below to my Discord. Come join us, we would love to have you. My next buddy read is another book I've been extremely excited to read, and that is Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. I am buddy reading this with my friend Christy Lewis from the channel Christy Lewis, Dostoevsky in Space. I'm really getting good at saying that, I think. That is such a hard word and I have to kind of sneak up on it. Like I don't think about it beforehand. I'm just like, that's gasky. Because if I think about it, it just goes crazy. But I have heard nothing but wonderful things about Fireborn and Flamefall. And in fact, Christy and I feel so strongly we're going to love this book. I've already picked up Flamefall. We're already planning to buddy read that one next month too. So for my next buddy read, this is something you guys haven't seen from me in a while. And that is some manga. I will be reading Censor by Junji Ito. Of course, if you've been around for a while when I read manga, I am always reading it with my pal Una from the Codex Cantina. I am very, very excited to get into this manga. The art is just so simplistic, but very detailed. I absolutely love it. It's in black and white. I also believe it's a horror manga. So that is definitely fitting for falling into where the fall months start. I cannot wait to get started on this one uh, and seeing what I think because next month we will be buddy reading another series by this author, Uzumaki, which of course, if any of you would like to join, please do so. I will have some channels set up in the Nerdy Narrative Discord for Sensor and for Uzumaki if you would like to join. I will also be continuing working my way through the five novellas of A Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. These are five novellas about five different biblical women taking their biblical accounts and just fleshing it out with the culture and belief system and just how things actually were at the time that we meet these women. The Bible's account of these women is very choppy and short and not a whole lot of information is given. I feel there is so much more needed to understand the impact of these women and Francine Rivers does that. She provides to us what they believed, the tradition of the times, and she just makes these women human and real and just the risk that they took, the courage that they had to do the things that they did and it is just wonderful. The second novella is called Unashamed and it is about Rahab, a woman with a past whom God gave a future. I keep saying highly anticipated, highly anticipated. I can't help it. You guys know I love all of these authors that I have been talking about today. Red Country, Joe Amber Crombie, the third and final standalone in the First Law world. This series, I have just had the best time reading with my friend, the Cat Lady Book Nook Penny. This series, this world has just been one of my absolute favorites. I have had so much joy reading these books. I just absolutely love them. I love the character work. I love the world that Joe Amber Crombie has built. I just smile the whole time I am reading or listening to the audiobook. I just absolutely love it. I just can't wait to read this one. It looks skinny. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit shorter than the other books that have come along in the first law world. So Looking forward to getting into this one. And then that means I get to start the second trilogy, which, oh, I'm so excited for that. I'm excited about this one too. Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. This is one I'm gonna be buddy reading with Tara. And guys, I just absolutely love that it looks like a catalog, like from Ikea. I mean, it, I can't wait to experience a narrative in this format. I, I'm just blown away with just how it's laid out. I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen here. This will be my second Grady Hendrix book. I have high expectations for it and for him as an author. He and I did not get off to a great start with the Final Girl Support Group. So I am hoping this makes up for that. If I am able to knock out my September TBR, I will then 
add in The Last Final Girl by Stephen Graham Jones. And this is a buddy read that is happening over on She Was Only Evie's Discord. I will have her channel linked below. It's a little book. I think I might can work it in. But I also remember I have a pre-order for the third Jonathan French book in the Grey Bastard series that hasn't come in yet. But it comes out at the end of September. So I might could slide it over into October's TBR. We'll have to see how it goes because I do have a new project that I am going to be working on for the channel. And I know that's going to take up a little bit of my reading time just to get that going and off the ground and seeing how it goes and what you guys think. So that is that. That is everything I am planning to read for the month of September. As far as my selection for the month, what do you guys think? Did I pick some good ones? I kind of wanted to start getting into some fall mood reads with like my horror stories and just my crime thriller vibe. I'm very, very excited for all of these books. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed with excitement for the books that I'm going to get to read in September. What about you guys? What do you think about what I chose? Are any of these books ones that you've read that you just absolutely love and you're excited to see what I think? Are any of them duds? Did you read them and you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, if you did not like Horror Store by Grady Hendrix, don't tell me. <laughs> I have several of his books here that I am excited to read and I feel that he is going to redeem himself with me even though we got off to a bad start. So that is all of the time I'm going to take up of yours today. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you spending your time with me so very much. I hope you have had a good start to your day. I hope the rest of your day goes well. I hope you have a fantastic reading month lined up. If you have picked some reads out for September, definitely put them in the comments down below. I want to see what you're reading. Are you a seasonal reader? Do you tailor your book picks as far as helping you kind of transition into the next season? I would love to hear about it. Guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.